Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. Today we wanted to give you an update on these Ross rounds. Hey, if you're new to this channel, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, thanks for checking us out. If you haven't already subscribed, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. I mean, just based on looking at the yard earlier, you know, they're bringing it in. Um, just not enough. These Ross rounds just seems to, they just hold them back. Um, they just don't want to work it uh, for whatever reasons. I mean, the bees are bringing it in. These ones here are, well, you can see they're they're around but they're not touching it not touching it bummer so we are going to take this one we're going to head over to our new bee yard so we are going to take this with us go put it in one of those strong hives that i took up there and see if it's a different story so Let's go take a look at this other one over here real quick. Now this one here has been doing a little bit better, but still they're just not doing anything. They're not really storing the honey. They're storing it down below. Um, I mean, these things are pretty solid. Um, but they just aren't really working it. Still working it better. But, uh, not really what we want yeah there's really no weight there bees the bees are there yeah we're bees are struggling to build this out so if you're very familiar with this go down below go give us a comment uh give us some tips you have some tips hey we'd love to share it with everybody else How I um, pop honey supers, doesn't matter if they look empty or not. I try to work it all the way around. Just so you don't pop or damage your frame. Um, just a little tip, I guess, that I learned working um, with some of these commercial outfits to uh, honey season. Yeah, they're not working it. If anything, they're stealing. Keep stealing the wax, those no stinkers. So, so yeah. yeah, they're just stealing it. Drew out a little bit here, some in this other side, but for the most part, they're not touching it. Yeah, they're just grabbing that wax. You add a little bit there. But not really nothing. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Yeah, they're just kind of stealing that wax. So, I don't know if I should take it or not. I mean, this one looks a whole lot better than the other one. So, 
something. I don't know. Any tips? <laughs> so, that is that. We'll just leave it. And, uh, I mean, it's still coming in. Uh, there's a lot of thistle out that still haven't popped in these little areas. Some of this stuff around here, it's pretty dry already. You know, some dry and some maybe about a half, half, 50% bloom. But there's a lot that's still on the floor that hasn't popped. It's not an update that I was, that's a bummer. Well, we're gonna learn, right? All right guys, we're gonna put this excluder on, like so. Again, if if you're new to the channel, the reason why we put the excluder is because we do not want the uh, queen bee to go upstairs. We don't want her to go upstairs and lay in our Ross rounds. Because if they do start cramming everything in downstairs and there's no excluder, she will go upstairs because they'll start to draw this out and um, lay brood here. And that's what we do not want. So excluder, Ross round box, lid. And we'll give you an update on this. Hopefully we made some honey, all right? So let's do it. All right, guys, that is it for our Ross round update. I think it's like our third update. So bear with us. Thank you for, uh, all those tips for those people that give us tips if you're familiar with those i know we've heard a lot of guys say thumbs down on these ross rounds so we're starting to get that feeling of of moving on and probably giving a shot with those hogs we keep hearing the hogs are the way to go so next year next summer we are gonna we're gonna purchase some hogs and try that and then make drop a video on that so Hey, you guys, thank you so much for your support, and thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and welcome. Go check us out on Facebook and on Instagram at the California Beekeeper.